the Thames Valley. This is Marlow FM 97.5. Your station in Marlow. Well, that was a great track. Robbie Williams with Angels to welcome our new guests. Two of them. Two for the price of one, I think. Yes. The guests are Phil G, who is a hello, local... Hello, hello. <laughs> Hi, Phil. I'm just going to get your levels right because we get told off if they're not. Uh, so oh, if you yeah, talk the technical stuff. <laughs> and uh, he's joined by his friend and colleague, Marcus Starr, who's a psychic medium. We will hear more from Marcus later on, but uh, welcome to you, Marcus. Oh, thank you for having me on the show. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Now, I um, this is my second show, and it's the first time I've ever had two guests at once, so please bear with me. <laughs> that gives me an extra knob to twiddle, an extra dial to push, so uh, <laughs> I'm going to do my best. Um, Phil, that was your choice of uh, track. Um, tell us what you what you like about that. Is it to do with your, your association with Marcus, with the, the yeah. psychic readings it is mike it is yes i mean I, I particularly love that track anyway and it's one of my favorite still karaoke anyway we uh, we, we were talking about angels and your association with marcus um but that uh, that track of angels that that is to do with what we're going to be talking about isn't it it is today i mean it's it, you know it's it's quite a deep subject and it's quite a a sort of serious subject, and I know Marcus takes it really, really seriously, uh, what he does in his profession and, and his career. And I know he spent a long time doing that. But I just, I just love that tune, and it's a beautiful tune. And it's actually a tune that we always play at the start of when we're doing our psychic nights and mediumship yeah. events. Um, and it's, it's just such a lovely song as well. It just gets people into the mood for it, if that and makes sense. It's quite sense. appropriate, because Robbie's doing a big tour at the moment, isn't he? He is. And getting he is. rave reviews, I think. Well, that's, that's what more could you ask for, Mike? <laughs> I know. OK. Um, right, so let's talk a little bit about uh, your life, mm -hmm. away from Marcus for a moment, because we we'll split you down the middle for a moment. Okay. I know your, your uh, activities include running quiz nights. They do indeed, yeah, and I've, do, I've done that for like five years and uh, always a lot of fun. I, I love it, but I love sort of working with the public and I love live events and what's a better live event than a quiz night? Mm. And everybody just gets involved, and we, yeah. you know, you know the way I do it. I, I just like to have fun with it yeah. and uh, not take it too serious, um, and sometimes give out the odd clue. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I'm going to <laughs> confess here to the listeners: <laughs> Pauline and I, along with our other halves, go to the quiz uh, that we we attend once a week in Ma in uh, where is it now? Henley, yeah, Henley, on right. Henley on Thames. And uh, I must say, um, Phil is it, it, first time I saw him. Perform. I, th I thought I'll give him the benefit of the doubt, but I'll come again next week. And, uh, but he's lovable. I think is the answer. Is, is the word, isn't it? Is Paul in there? No, she's yeah, not. I, uh... Yeah, lovable. But, it, it... I, I think because you do give out clues. Yes. <laughs> <coughs> I, and I get into trouble for it sometimes as well, don't yeah. I? You know, if you but... ask what year was the eighteen twelve overture written, and, and you say, "I'll give you a clue," the, <laughs> the answer's in the title. Yeah, it's it's a little bit disturbing. I had a, I had one like that this week, didn't I? Where, where I said, "Where was Anne Boleyn held in the uh, which tower was Anne Boleyn held in in London?" And of course, the answer was the Tower of London. <laughs> So the, the the clue was in the question, really. Yeah. So even in the question, but even then, somebody got it wrong. Yes, yes. Yeah. They and insisted it was the White Tower. Yes, but you were absolutely correct because it was actually. Uh, other people have come to me and said it was White Tower as well. Really? Mm. Yeah. We couldn't prove it on Wikipedia. No, that's a shame. But yeah. What do they know? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway, so that's a flavour of your quiz. Um, Operations. You also do other things. I do loads of different stuff. I mean, like, I, I'm a freelance um, photographer. I work with loads of different artists and bands to create videos, as well as, of course, working with Marcus to do promotions and publicity and things like that. Mm. Uh, I work with newspapers, um, like, freelance for, I don't know, about six years now. Um, and I've had work going from the local papers to all the way up to the sun made online all across the world mm. uh which has been really really good really good obviously you know news stories 
aren't always the most glamorous things to cover, um, but it's very interesting. Uh, I think it's very interesting work, mm. and, and I enjoy it. Um, but I actually started in 2007, bef- many years before that. I started in, like, hospital radio and stuff like that when I was about 14. Uh, did a lot of hospital radio, then did community stuff, uh, went all around, really, um, to different stations, um, and for a while we were producing voiceovers for... Um, radio stations abroad as well so it was uh, you know it's been been a bit of a journey because in 2007 i went over to cyprus and we uh, we stayed out there for three months myself my partner my little and decided just to have a little break go out there um and i ended up going into some of the stations out there and i had a little demo disc with me and stuff and i thought i'll just take it with me just in case i can find something um and I went to a few of the different stations, and one of them actually said to me, yeah, we'd love to take you on. Um, so I did an afternoon show on a station called Point 104.3 FM out in Cyprus. Now, when I came back to the UK, they asked me if I could carry that on, um, which at that time, with dial-up connections, this, that and the other, um, it was difficult to get it across. It used to take me like 12 hours to prepare a show for a, a three-hour show, which was mm. quite, quite tough, but I did that for about three years. And, of course, once you get into the flow of everything, it takes a lot less time to record and send the stuff across. Right. So that was good. Yeah, really good experience, really good fun. But, yeah, I mean, I love the DJing as well, the DJing side of it. I've done for years. And, actually, Mike, I don't know whether you know this or not, I used to DJ at the Bull on Bell Street. Really? Which, at one point, was called the Coco's Nightclub. And I did that for about three years. That's it's interesting. Yeah, I was. Uh, I th- I seem to remember going to um, to a disco there many mm. years ago. They didn't play any any seventies music. I well, d- <laughs> well, at first I was afraid, then I was petrified. Oh, oh, really? <laughs> That's my little joke. You, yeah, you. Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> Well, thanks you, for jumping in on the joke. You, you, so no I do apologise. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm terrible, aren't I? Again. I'm terrible. Yes. I'm, I'm going to play apologize. a track that you've asked for. Um, I can't see it from here, so excuse me while I look okay. over. It's Ghost Town by The Specials. I guess this is to do with your association with Marcus. He he's is. sitting there happy as Larry because he's got nothing to do except listen. <laughs> but I'm sure he wants to say something. So we'll, after this track, we'll, we'll bring you into the conversation, Marcus. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. He's such a star. He really is. <laughs> We are about to launch... Bill G and psychic medium Marcus Starr. Anything can happen in the next half hour. Welcome, Marcus. I, uh, I'm, I'm absolutely amazed. Because when Phil's first uh, said to me, He's going to bring a chum along, and you're very welcome, by the way. Thank um, you. I, he said you were ghost hunters, and I thought this sounds um, this sounds fun. And then he said, "Well, uh, we do a lot of shows, and you can see Marcus on YouTube." And I yes. think well, ghost hunting is certainly what you do, but your main activity, I think, is psychic medium. Mm. That's quite correct, and thank you so much for uh, having me on the show today. Interesting intro, I like it. Mm -hmm. Um, Yes, um, I've been a psychic medium um, spiritualist all my life. Um, And um, obviously, you know, what does that include? It includes me um, working the seriousness of it is that I work with the spirit world, so those that have passed over. Um, and yes, we do the ghost hunts, we do the haunted nights, ghost tours, etc., which are very, very popular. Um, however, you know, the, 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 the main sort of source of, um, the main sort of thing about the shows is the psychic mediumship. Um, and yeah, it, it's, 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 it's quite something to come on a show. It's, it's really quite exciting. And um, we do have a little bit of fun as well, of course. Yeah. I watched uh, one of your shows on YouTube, mm. Mm. and uh, fascinating. And I noticed... Um, Thank you. The, the show was opened by Phil. I guess mm. he does a preamble mm. for you, but mm. that wasn't shown. It was just, you said, Thank mm. you, Phil. Mm. And, Phil, I, I wonder if you could just give us a briefing as an introduction to what goes on. 
what okay. your what your introduction is at the, at the, on those activities on those nights. Okay, I don't know. Whether, can you hear me? Okay, can you hear yeah, me? Okay, absolutely. okay, good stuff. Okay, so um, on you would we, we would prefer prepare music and everything else, which is quite relaxing music, mm -hmm. just to get the uh, audience into. Um, a relaxed sort of state. And then I would come on and give my usual flavour of, hey guys, welcome to Marcus Star Psychic Medium, who's been a, a celebrity psychic medium for over 25 years, uh, working on Psychic TV and Psychic Today, along with all the greats, Colin Fry, um, Derek Akora, mm. and all of the others. Please give a warm welcome to... Marcus Starr, and then of course the audience claps and you get them in, and it's it, it's really good, really good fun. Um, it is, it and, is. I, and I love it. But I mean, we we work so well together, don't we, Marcus? We we do, and and obviously Phil knows. Um, you know, he knows the way I work in in a sort of um, a comical sense, but he also knows the way I work when I'm in a serious sense. Mm. So we sort of work together as a team. Because um, obviously there's a, 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 you know, with anything in life, you have to sort of, um, um, so, you know, sort of relax and obviously enjoy yourself and have a laugh. But at the same time, we are, uh, you know, I am dealing when I work in a spiritual way, I am dealing with the spirit world, whether that's ghost hunts, haunted nights and ghost tours, um, or whether it is just simply um, bringing those loved ones who have passed away, connecting the audience to that's what they're coming for so there is a very very um, um seriousness to it and of course that's why i've got my gift and uh, and if there's ever a sort of time where i sort of choose to uh, um ignore the spirit world which i wouldn't or abuse the uh, abuse the gift that i've got i've been born with at that, that point they would say well actually you know we don't want you to actually um, put on no shows no more. We don't want you to actually help the public um, because there's a great sort of deal of um, comfort. When someone's passed over, there's a lovely comfort to them when you give validation evidence which phil knows we mm. we often do on the shows mm. and it, it's quite fascinating isn't mm. it show to sort of yeah uh, um, uh, phil, sorry. i'm sorry marcus but one of the most amazing ones that i think we've done and, and actually it was one that mike you may have seen uh, or saw was was um what was the one at the wayfarers club which was um yes, yes. in northamptonshire mm. and um it was the lady's friend who'd passed over. Yes. In quite a tragic way. She did. She did. Um, yeah. And, and the amount of validation that was given there was mm, mm. was quite remarkable, actually. That, that's I right. Saw, that's what I saw, where yeah. the lady had been murdered by her husband mm. and shot. Mm. Yeah, and, that's and right. She didn't tell you that. No. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I, I mean, I, I, I must say, I've watched Colin Fry with mm. great interest over the mm. years. Unfortunately, mm. he's, he's dead now. He, he is, God bless but, him. Um, is. I watched him, and he's always very, very uh, caring about the people he spoke to. That's right. And very careful about yeah. the things he said. That's right. And I, I was right. fascinated by that. I, I think skeptics, um, if we could talk about those, people, of course, of course, tend to think that you're doing a generalisation. They, um, they and, do. And you just pick on somebody who puts their hand they up do. and you take it on from there. And I, I must admit, mm, that's, a, mm, that's a train of thought that crossed my mind. Mm, but the, that particular show mm, that I saw mm, on YouTube, mm, there is no way in this world that, you, mm, that she mm, suggested to you that it That's happened. right. That's um, quite and, right. And you, you said she mm. passed in a, a... I think you said she passed in a, mm. um, a, a, an aggressive manner, in a, in a, a bad manner. And, and was she shot? And she said, come to the lady almost exploded and said, yes, yeah, she was murdered. Mm. And now that, that was absolutely yeah. incredible. Yeah. Um, does that happen very often where you get the nail on the head like that? Well, it's, it's as I say, I mean, that was just one clip um, of mm. a show that we've done in Kettering. Um, I but, mean, we have got lots more evidence of... Well, we've got 150 shows between yeah. now and the middle of next year. Mm. And um, obviously they're not all sort of um, on the mediumship side of things because when you bring a loved one through that's passed over, that's really the mediumship side of things. Um, and, uh, you know, we can sort of um, e emerge the psychic side of things. We can feel the energy of someone. But, 
Yes, you're quite right. Um, we do try to um, bring as much validation and evidence to um, the public, or, or should I say the people that come to the shows on the evenings. Um, the, the ghost nights and haunted nights are quite different in the sense that um, it's more of the physical side of things. So we're, we're wanting to physically show people... Um, the, um, the hauntings in these haunted locations but no, quite right um, it was a fantastic show at Kettering and, and, and I'm so pleased you saw that, I'm so pleased you saw it, thank you <laughs> was, <coughs> Excuse me, it's, uh, it's, it's always interesting mm. to do some research on the guests, if someone mm. walks through the door you've never met, as we haven't mm. met mm. Um, uh, what questions do you ask and will you ever get mm. to, the, mm. to, the, to the very important mm. question um, talking about the questions, I've got some written down here for you. Okay. Um, you're advertised as Marcus Starr, celebrity psychic medium. Mm. And now, does that mean you've, you've done this uh, medium reading for celebrities? I, I have, very, very much Are you so. able to tell us? Um, there's quite a few. It, it, uh, possibly not, because they'll, pro they'll probably think to me, oh, you, you know, it's quite sort of confidential, but um, but there has been quite a few. Um, Any that have been televised? Or? Oh, oh, yes, most definitely, quite a few. So that um, would be, you'll be able to share those with us, because they're, they're that, in the public that, That's domain. right, yeah. Um, I've, 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 there's, there's been so many over the years, you know, but it, it, it is quite confidential in the sense that... Um, Sometimes they, you know, they don't want to be obviously pub publicised or whatever, but, um, you know, over the years that I've done this, um, one thing that I do know is, is is that there's no no such thing as death, just change. And that's... I, I always say that, you know, we are going to be going to that place at some point in life. I mean, I have me jokes and me laughs and fiddle, no, mm. I do. Mm. I'm, I'm a non-serious person. <laughs> yes. Well, so you know that, don't you? I definitely uh, well, know that, Marcus. That. Yes. But, <laughs> but you know. But at the same time, um, as I say, I've got a job to do, and and that job is to re reconnect um, loved ones that have passed over to 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 you know two people, and. And unfortunately, we are all going to go there at some point. And when I was a child, one of the things that was fascinating to me was, you know, where are we going to go? You know, why are we here? Where are we going to go? And, and you know, is there anything outside of the box of the reality of the physical world? And, and, and that's something that, that um, when people come on these shows, um, I, I'd like to say that they get some kind of experience, um, some kind of, uh, you know, message or experience, whether it's ghost tours or, or the mediumship, mm. and then they can go away with that uh, on the evening with them and mm. take that sort of experience with them. You're on an extensive mm. tour at the moment, aren't you? Uh, we are. The country. We are. Um, yeah. I'm just going to ask, what, what's the average audience size that you have? A very, very good question. Um, I would say between 50, we have small events, 50, 50 people, right up until, you know, four, 500 people, if not more sometimes. So, mm. yeah, we've got quite a few next year that are really looking really, really positive, four, 500 seats or so. Oh, so, so yeah. People. But you yeah. must... Yeah. I say you must. Uh, presumably if somebody's coming along in the hopes mm. that you'll, mm. you'll contact mm. somebody... Mm. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> I must... Uh, <coughs> You're, you're going to disappoint a lot of people if there's 500, because you're only going to speak to, what, two or three or four? It, it can be difficult sometimes. It, it, it's, 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 it's interesting that you've mentioned that, and thank you, because um, one thing that I wanted to do when I created um, Star Entertainments um, and Connecting with Spirit, which is the company names of... Um, I wanted to create something that... Um, Everyone, or should I say most people, get some kind of experience and they go away with something. And you, it's a good question, you're quite right. When there's four or five hundred people, it's very difficult to please everyone. Um, but there's certain things that we do on our um, uh, evenings that are very, very different to um, other evenings that you'd go to. And there is a very good chance that a lot of people are going to get quite a lot of um, 
uh, quite a lot of, uh, you, you know, they're going to get something, basically. Mm. So it, it's difficult to say, because obviously I'm not on a show tonight or today or at this moment in time, but there's certainly things that they can go away with. And, yeah. of course, if you've not had a message, you can sort of take with you the reality of the people's messages yeah. that they've received. I was going to say, a lot, a lot of people would and be thinking, I hope he doesn't uh, choose me. That, <laughs> it, oh, that's, that's quite right. That, that, it, 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 it's quite true, um, Mike. It, it's very, very true indeed. Um, but um, a lot of people are lovely to us, aren't they? And they, yeah. and you know, and we have a little laugh as well. So it's lovely. It's lovely now, to work. In the in the um, in the wider media, yeah. such as film and television, mm. there are lots of films and uh, TV shows that have been mm. close to the subject of, of mediums. Uh, and, yes. Uh, they all have their, I mean, the producer yeah. and the writer will have their own yes. viewpoint, whether they're trying to criticise yeah. it or praise it. Mm. Um, but I'm, I'm thinking of two films now that I'm going to throw at you, um, and you're going to hate me, but mm. uh, The Sixth <laughs> Sense is one. Very, very good film, yes. I can't remember who... Um, oh, was it? Mm. OK, yeah, yeah. Very fantastic film, and um, I would say that, uh, yeah, in, in, in the sort of world that I live in, it's very realistic. Yeah. I, I, I was going to make a jingle out of the, the boy saying, <laughs> I see dead people. <laughs> and uh, my wife banned me from doing yeah, it. Yeah, bad taste. So. Yeah, bad taste. So that was... But presumably you don't see the people that you're, you're, mm. you're speaking to, or that are speaking to you. Um, or do you have a mental uh, image? I, I see spirit like I'm seeing yourself or the people in this room, and I hear them like I'm hearing you guys. So I, I often have a conversation with them. And and, and, uh, and one of the fantastic things about um, communicating with the spirit world, or should I say, well, both they communicate with me, um, is that prior to a show, not necessarily the, the, the haunting side of it, um, but more the psychic mediumship um, side of the... Uh, uh, of the shows, um, the spirits often come through to me before, at least a week or two or three days before, and they often talk to me, and, and again, I see them like I see yourself, and I hear them, and this is where we get the validation and evidence from, and then that gives me a little bit of a head start prior to the evening, so then I'll know where to go, who to see, names etc and I can just put all my focus on them um, we had one a few weeks ago um, and, uh, her, 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 and obviously again I can't give too much but her son had passed over he took his own life he um, he he did hang himself God bless him and he was in my house a week before the show he gave me a description of his mum we had a nice cup of tea um, you know, together, um, n not literally, but, y you know, <laughs> no. but in the sense of just sort of, you know, I was having a cup of tea and we was talking. Mm. And it was just lovely because there was a lot of... When people go over in that sense, there's a regret. There's a regret in the sense of... Um, you know, why did I do this? Um, should I have done this? And when you go over and do something like that, there is a certain amount of guilt. Um, so, so that's that's one thing that um, that's one thing that uh, you know ha um, happened a few weeks ago. But you know, it does often happen, and it does give us the heads up, and it's quite comforting to go home at night after a show and actually say. Um, that, um, you know, you've brought that loved one through and they can not let go totally in the audience, but they can move on a little bit more or at least know that they're safe and they're well. Um, working with the spirit world is, is very, very much um, like a marriage or a relationship in the sense that you have to work at it. And unless you work at it, it it's not really going to work because 
believe you me, it's not easy doing the job that I do. No, I can imagine. Um, a lot of people say, well, you've just given the gift and, and so on. But and, and, unfortunately so, and I laugh when I say that, um, even to this day, and I've been doing it over 20-odd years, um, there's new things I'm learning uh, learning all the time. And, and uh, you know, and also um, uh, there's things that they're bringing to me all the time, the spirit world. So... You know, you, you you really do have to work at it, um, and even when it gets to a point, say for example, a marriage or relationship, you think, oh, I can't carry on no more. You know, this is this is just you know this. It, does she love me? You know, and it, it's the same as a spirit world. Often, spiritual people lose their way. They lose the relationship. Um, with the spirit world and you have to somehow work with it you have to really work and really find um, the love because we can only contact the spirit world through love it's the only way we can yeah. work I know that love. Colin Fry used to say I'll leave their love with you as a, as a that's pleasure. right so, <coughs> yeah. I'm going right. to uh, okay. play a track not because I'm not interested here more I want to hear lots more but it's, okay. I need Thank to you. cough and it's for you to do it while, oh you're, you're fine you're, you're fine <laughs> You're fine. <laughs> okay, the next track we're going to play is, is Stars. And I think you chose this, Phil. Is this again a, a reference to what I you did? I did indeed, yes. I know they're all a little bit sort of interconnected, aren't they? Um, yes, I did. Mike, can you hear me okay over Yes, there? I can hear you perfectly. Great stuff. Okay, so, um, yeah, Stars. Actually, Simply Red, though, back in the 90s, was one of my favourite of all time artists. Mm. Well, Mick Hutton uh, was a, a great singer. Absolutely. Um, I, I went to see him once at Wembley Arena. Um, Amazing. And they were just launching stars, actually, as, as the song, and they had a, a lighting set up, which was, by now, by today's standards, would look very, very poor, but it was, <laughs> it was stars flying around on the stage. I was most intrigued. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Amazing. Well, that's a great track. Um, yeah, very, very good. Phil, I'm going to come back to you for a minute. Mm -hmm. um, we were talking to you earlier about what you do. Yeah. And I, I happen to know, because you mention it every Sunday, <laughs> that you have a radio show of your own, don't you? Well, I do, Mike, yes. I have my own little show, but it, it's not on the best time of the morning. I mean, this is the best time to yeah, be on yeah, the radio. Yeah, yeah, civilised. This is civilised, <laughs> it really is. I mean, mine is from four till seven. A.M. Is that day or night? It's a killer. <laughs> In the day. A.M. Morning. And um, luckily, sometimes I can pre-record, so that's quite handy. Do you know what I mean? I'm sorry mm. to let the team down there, but I can pre-record, so I don't always have to and be what station there. is it on? It's uh, a station called B Radio. Mm -hmm. OK. Uh, oh, God. 90... 96 points. <laughs> oh, no, this isn't good, is it? Oh, no, no. Oh, no, I hope they're not That's why you're on in the morning. I know, this is it. <laughs> this is it. It's uh, bradio.co.uk. You can get us on all good apps and all that sort of stuff, Apple App Store and Google Play and all that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. um, 96.5. Okay. It's on, it's on the FM. It's just one away from us. Well, of course, the people uh, listening to us... Won't possibly listen to you because they listen to Marlow FM. All well, they're they're quite civilised people. The people who listen to you guys, obviously, <laughs> aren't they? But they could tell other people that they could listen to you. Maybe that's the that answer. That would be lovely. Uh, and it's sort of aged, uh, targeted at like eighteen to thirty. So there's a lot of sort of pop chart type music, mm. commercial stuff that we play, yeah. um, which I actually really like, and it keeps you in the loop as to what's going on in the yeah. pop community world. You know. Um, but it's a lot of fun, and I love mm. doing it. You know, it's four till seven, isn't it? Four till seven a.m. Yeah. It may surprise you to know that I've laid in bed at four o'clock, wondering whether I should tune in or not to listen to you. <laughs> but I've always resisted it. Oh, Mike, the answer is definitely <laughs> yes. Of course, you've got to listen in if you well, if you're I'll. a little night owl like that. You know, <laughs> maybe I will. Let's turn back to Marcus, because I'm absolutely intrigued. Uh, not that I'm not intrigued by you, Phil, but I see you once a week. So you that's, do, that's you fun. do, yeah. You're getting off of me. Yeah. <laughs> I've, uh, I've got a few more questions here. I know Pauline wants to ask you something as well. Mm. Um, let me see. Did I um, cover one of these? I was going to ask about the ghost hunts. Are okay. they on a location? A very good question, thank you. They are on locations. Um, we've just come back from um, a place in Leeds called Hazelwood Castle. Mm -hmm. 
very haunted location and we often go there for Halloweens and things like this. Oh, okay. But it's been really, really interesting this year. We had lots of activity. There's certain things that we use um, to create activity to... Um, bring them through. Uh, bring them through, yes, mm -hmm. but also to um, to show the people that come on to the haunting side of it, mm -hmm. show, the, show them the physical side of things. So the psychic mediumship is me giving the validation evidence in, in the way that I'm doing now through talking, mm -hmm. through comforting in that way. And then the haunting side of it is purely just the... F you know the physics the physical energy mm. um that we so yeah yeah it, it's it, they are certain locations they're haunted locations okay we, we um, use lots yeah. of different different techniques and, and tools, yeah. tools yeah. and scientific stuff um that we hope the ghosts will touch like trigger objects well it just gives uh, that proof uh, doesn't it yeah. again you know and people are quite amazed um Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're quite surprised because unless you go on to, unless you go to a show, um, you know, quite quite right as Michael said earlier, you, you know, it, it is quite easy to scuff mm. it, mm. you know, and obviously not believe it. So obviously there's a saying, isn't there? You've got to see to believe it. Absolutely, yeah. And yeah, it's I, quite I, interesting. And that's the thing because mm. I do sometimes mm. think, as as Michael as well was saying earlier. Mm. that people come to Marcus's show expecting him to ask hundreds of different questions and then giving you the same answer that you just gave to him in a different sort of made-up, mm -hmm. packaged way. But actually, Marcus doesn't read like that, and it does have to be seen to be understood, I think. Mm. Um, because you're very good... I mean, we, we, we never get the details of the people who are coming onto the chalk because mm. of data protection via the websites. Marcus will admit himself he's not great at Facebook and all these sort of things, where people will sometimes think, oh, maybe he's just mm. Facebook my name and this, that and the other. Do you know what I mean? And mm. it's, it, mm. it absolutely does not work like and that. We give certain evidence and validation that possibly wouldn't be on Facebook. So mm. you know, because mm. people don't put everything on Facebook. Hopefully so, not. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. yeah. Marcus, when you when you do a show, do you do you do you, I mean, if comedians stand up to do a, um, a show. Yes. <clears throat> excuse me. They they get hecklers. Now, do you get yes. people that have really? Aren't believers. Um, we they're, they're we skeptics. Uh, in other words, a hundred percent. We we do, and um, I always say that if you know, my job can only be as good as someone that listens to me. So I can do my job for the world of spirit. I can bring a message through, and I can try and bring them love and comfort in their life. Um, however, however. Um, they've got to use their um, tool in their physical body to listen, and if they doesn't, if they don't listen, I I'm quite restricted in in mm. in what I can do really. So, um, if if they listen to us, they'll find it quite intriguing, interesting. Mm and possibly get some kind of comfort from it. But if they don't listen, it's a little bit tricky. And, of course, sometimes, um, you know, when you've had a few drinks, it, it can be even more tricky. But most of the time, people are quite... Mm. Very, very good, aren't they? Yeah, I mean, they, they, know, they come it's, in... It's unusual. Uh, and a, a lot of people mm. are serious. You know, they've lost loved ones, they've lost mm. people in their lives that they'd really love to connect mm. to. You do get the odd one, though, who will come in and they've been to the bar beforehand, <laughs> so mm. no, no. Mm. And uh, uh, then they may try and just mm. upset other people, if that makes sense. They, 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 yeah. they want the show yeah. for themselves. Yes. Yeah. I guess the other, mm. the other yeah. people there would tell them to shut up because they want to get money, value for money for the ticket. Uh, yeah. That's quite right. Yeah. And, of course, quite right, Mike, you know, you know, at the moment with the world as it is, um, I mean, obviously, yes, I'm who I am, but it, it, it's not really about myself. You know, I've, I've got no ego or anything like that. You know, it is purely about what I can give to the public at these shows and help them, help them as much as I can, working from my heart. And with the prices that we that we mm. do charge, which which obviously we're not going to go into that. Um, 
it's it's a fantastic. Um, it's good value for it, money. Yeah. Well, it I is, mean, and also, you know, also, um, you know, if you do get a message, it's really going to help you yeah. in your life, and that's why I do this for. I don't do it really for anything else. I do it because I yeah. genuinely want to help people <coughs> and bring comfort to them. And show people the physical side of the spirit, you know, mm. the spirits, show them that they're still here, yeah. the spirits do exist, and also the verbal side of, 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 of the proof and, 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 and of course, validation. Now, so, we're just yeah. coming towards the news, which will give us time to play another track, mm. which I'll do in a moment. But before we do that, I just wanted to give you a chance to tell people where you're going to be. Um, OK, and, Mike. Uh, the, yep. you know, some of the local ones and the dates, yeah. if you've got yeah, them with no, you. No, no, of course, no, of course. Well, we've got one um, quite near here, actually, um, which I'm really looking forward to, um, and that is at the um, Woodley Theatre, RG54JA. Mm. Um, and that is going to be on the 26th of March. I know I've gone a little bit far out there, but it is quite local to here. Mm. So if the listeners, you know, are sort of listening, obviously come along. Um, it starts at 7 till late, which is fantastic. Again, can't go into the, the you know. Yeah, but because that that's like, because of our tour dates, mm. some of them are a, a, a little bit further out, mm. some of them yeah. are closer. And we do, I mean, a We've few got, weeks ago it, it, in Reading, it, it, weren't we? It's, so. it's quite complicated to give everybody obviously all the dates but we've got 150 dates between now and um the middle of next year um and they can go on the website which is um www.starentertainments.com and of course there's connecting with spirit there.uk so they can go on to them websites and of course just google us um, there's a free number there, 0800 099 6138, and you can book tickets online and etc. But you know, it, it's it, just just let me say, yeah. if anybody didn't get those details, yeah, if they, uh, I found if you just put Marcus Star, yeah, that double R. Yeah. It is double R, yeah. It is. Marcus, as in M -A -R -C -S. And that's not a stage name, actually. That's my real name. It's, not, it, it's an amazing name for a psychic, yeah. that, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. You know. yeah. Very good name. Now, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna oh, to have well, to cut you. you off just a minute because we're going to play one more track and then I'll take us near the news and then I can thank you for coming. The time's thank just flown you. by. Yeah. I, it I don't does. know about you, but I, I've just been yeah. so interested in what you've been oh. saying. Thank you very much both for coming. Thank, thank you for thank having you. me, Mike. I'll say thank you now because it's unlikely we're going to talk to you very much more. And I say thank you you know to all you guys and listeners because you know it, it's not about me it's not it's about what i represent it's about helping people in a very difficult time in history it's not going to get much easier and sometimes we just need a little bit more comfort from the other side information from the other side that we can't possibly get on earth and that's why i do what i do generally to work from my heart excellent okay um <clears throat> I'm going to say goodbye to you both now. Cheers, um, Mike. So, God, thank thanks. you, Mike, so much. Thank for you. Me. Thanks very much for coming in. Pleasure, thank I'll you. I'll see you on Sunday. Yeah. I want some special help with the uh, the questions. Oh, believe and, me. Uh, yes. Marcus, I shall be looking at some more of your interesting shows on oh, YouTube. Please and, come along. Uh, yes, I'd like to. And uh, while I'm saying thank you, thank you, Pauline, for being my co-host, as, no, as always. No problem, my to pleasure. I don't know what thank I'd you. do without you, because you helped me push <laughs> the, the sliders down to stop talking on air. And finally, Millie, who's who's stayed on because she wanted not necessarily to hear about uh, mediums, although I'm sure she's been enthralled. She wanted to see how many more mistakes I could make this morning. <laughs> so I hope you've been well served as well. Anyway, we're going to play a track again that you've chosen, um, Phil, which is um, David Bowie, Starman. Okay. There we go. Mm. Bye, guys. It was really yeah. nice to talk to you. Oh, well, thank, thank you. you. Nice to Thames Valley. This is Marlow FM 97.5. Your station in 